Hello! You are in Gunther channel. In this video I will show you, how to increase the number of the trades made count, on your Steam accounts. This can be useful if you want to be more trusted when making the trade. Let's define what is needed for this. You need two unlimited Steam accounts. This means, that these accounts must have a $5 funded. These accounts must have an associated phone number, and most importantly, these accounts must have the Steam Guard, authorized with the Steam Desktop Authenticator. You need to install the Node.js on your PC, and also any text editor will be useful to you, for example, Notepad or Notepad++. As a warning, I will say that everything that you do with your accounts is on your responsibility. However I have been using this method for a long time, and there have been no restrictions and no vax. Otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. Don't use your main account, check this method on your other accounts first. Ok let's start. The first thing to do, is download the Node.js. We are interested in the LTS version, which is recommended for most users. Install the Node.js after downloading. When installing, leave all the default parameters at each step. Then you need to download Node Steam Trade Farm Bot. All links used in the video can be found in the description. Ok, to download this bot, click on the green button, where it says code. Next select download zip archive. Unpack the downloaded archive to any location. I will unpack it to my desktop for convenience. Now you need to install this bot. In this folder, press the shift key, and right click. Select, open PowerShell window here. In the PowerShell window, enter the following command, npm install, or npm i. You will most likely get an error, but don't worry. This is an error of installation only one module, which is called asleep. The easiest way to fix this problem, is to download this module, and install it manually. Let's go to the GitHub page of this module. I remind you, that I will leave all links in the description. Download this module as before, code, download zip. Next unpack this archive to the node modules directory of trade farm bot folder. Rename this folder to sleep. Go to this folder, open PowerShell window here. Enter npmi. Wait, until this module is installed. Ok, trade farm bot has been installed. Now we need to configure this bot. Let's go back to the bot folder. You need to edit the script a little bit here. Open bot.js file, using any text editor. This script is too old, and it used CSGO inventory. Now, we have hold, when trading items in CSGO, and now we need to use other games, which haven 7 day hold between trades. For example Unturned, or Team Fortress if you have the Prime. Here is CSGO app ID, 730. To replace it with the needed, click edit, replace. Find what, is 730, replace with, is 440. I will use the Team Fortress items because I have two accounts with the Team Fortress Prime. To get the Team Fortress Prime, you need to buy something in Game Store. If you want use the unturned items, enter unturned app ID here. Click, replace all. Save this file. Now you need to add your two accounts to this bot. Open the config file. Here you can see, that you need to enter shared secret and identity secret codes. You can get it, if you use the Steam Desktop Authenticator, as I said earlier. Open the SDA folder, go to my files directory. Open my file of needed account. Here you can get the shared secret, and identity secret. Ok, I have filled information about my accounts. I entered here, shared secret, identity secret, login, password, and trade link, of my two accounts. Now I can run this script. But before launching this bot, let's see the number of made trades on my account. Now, it's 175. Ok, to start the trade farm bot, open the PowerShell window here, and enter the following command, node, bot. Now the script has started working. Let's leave this script running for a while. Ok, after some time, you can see, that I got 200 trades. Let's check it out on the Steam page. Let's reload the page, and as you can see, this script has done its work successfully. If you have any problems with this bot, write it in the comments. I ask you to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet, I will be very grateful to you. Thanks for watching.